Hi, I'm Lee Adams and today I'm going to show you how to add more depth to your shot. But first, let's do something about this. Okay, now that that's done, let's get to the first step of adding depth to your shot. In fact, we just did, by separating ourselves from the wall and moving to the other side of the room. Depth of field is the distance between the closest object and the farthest object in a shot that appears exceptionally sharp. And this brings us to step two, crushing your depth of field. Now the lens I'm using here only has a minimum f-stop of four, which means that the little hole on the inside of the lens will only open up to an f4. This lens in my hand is a 36-72 f3.5 manual lens, which means that instead of your camera having the most control over it, you do. So by turning the rings here with all the numbers on it, you can see the iris on the inside of the lens getting smaller and bigger. The smaller the iris, the less light that comes into the camera, and that also greatens your depth of field. The bigger the iris, the shallower your depth of field. The real technical term for this is aperture. An aperture is a hole or opening through which light travels. Now let's review what we've talked about so far. In step one, we separated ourselves from the wall. And in step two, we crushed our depth of field by opening our aperture as wide as it could go. These are my tips for getting more depth of field to your shot. 